Welcome to the Hunter Report. Now, why am I right here next to my new bed? Well, I had bed bugs and I had to throw away my mattress. The mattress was old and uh, it was full of bed bugs. So I decided to throw it away. It was definitely the right move. I'm totally bed bug free now for many months. Life is fantastic. But I had a new mattress to buy and I had a lot of choices. So where I'm coming from is I wanted a cheap mattress. And the idea is I'll have the cheap mattress for six to 12 months. And then once I'm like super confirmed that I'm bed bug free, then I'll invest in a bigger, more expensive mattress. So I'm basically looking for a sub $300 mattress, right? Basically the cheapest mattress. I was sleeping on the floor, by the way, so, and I'm fine with that, but like it was getting a little extreme. So I'm looking for a cheap mattress and I kept on finding all of these horror stories on amazon.com for these really cheap mattresses. Like don't get Zinus, don't get Linen Spa. And the two main horror stories that I saw, number one is that some of these mattresses had fiberglass in them. So their children were like, on the bed and they were getting fiberglass on their skin and their skin was erupting in rashes, that is absolutely not acceptable, okay? The second issue that I saw is that some of these third-party retailers on Amazon were shipping mattresses with bed bugs in them. I'm an investor in Amazon and I have to say that I am not cool with that. Amazon needs to be policing this stuff much harder and videos like this need to come out to like let you all know that People are shipping mattresses with bed bugs in them. Now keep in mind, it was a third party seller. I don't believe the first party seller was selling mattresses with bed bugs, but you just don't know. So what I have right here is a Sealy mattress in a box. Sealy is one of the most established brands of mattresses in the US, and they are making a competitor to the whole mattress in the box game. So question number one, is there fiberglass in this mattress? Well, let me show you right now. Let's just take it off right here. Boom. Look at that. Absolutely no fiberglass. It's uh, it's just a nice, soft kind of thing. And then the other thing I haven't touched on is what's the chemicals? Well, this is pure certified, which means that there's no like super toxic chemicals in there because that's an issue for a lot of people and and you really wanna make sure your mattress is pure certified. And finally, is it comfortable? And I have to tell you that after sleeping on the floor and given my circumstances, uh, yeah, it's really comfortable. Now, mattresses are very subjective. Some people are side sleepers, some people are back sleepers, some people need it firm, some people need it right in the middle. There's couples, people in the couple that need different firmnesses, I get that. But compared to sleeping on the floor, this baby is fantastic. And for the price that I got it at, which was under $300, this baby is fantastic. And just while I'm here, look at this comforter that I got for like 30 bucks. I don't know if it was exactly 30. And then this super awesome thing from from Bedshore, right? I got that on amazon.com. Both of these things were under $100, and I think even under $75 combined. The comfort that I get from this is incredible. My dad just bought an $800 comforter. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm winning right here with a $40 comforter. You know, it's sure it's not made of animal feathers, but like who needs that? And it's just super soft, super comfortable. The reason I bought it is the ratings were so high, and I'm just really liking my whole Amazon bed thing. And then my thing down here, support down here, I also got on Amazon. It was just like, I don't know, 80 bucks. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Just make sure that you read the negative reviews for any mattress that you buy. And all of this nonsense that's happening with the bed bugs and the, and the toxic chemicals and the fiberglass, not cool. So you can go with Sealy, really established brand name. Go ahead and check the description below if you want to pick up any of these items. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. That's the Hunter Report, and happy sleeping.